Good morning guys. Uh, we've arrived at the portion of the meal prep where I failed to plan ahead so now I have to figure out what I'm actually going to eat. So when I'm thinking about what I'm going to make for meal prep, the number one thing I consider is like what do I want? Do I have a taste for anything in particular? Do I just want to do taco tray again? Like you know, so I think about what I want but something else that plays a big factor into it is what I have left over in my refrigerator that I need to get rid of. So that's kind of where I'm letting the inspiration take me this week. I just kind of want to see like what I need to clean out. So for instance, I see we have a ton of sour cream. We always have a ton of sour cream. I have some guacamole left over from taco tray, but I'm thinking this week I want to go Italian. I have that Rayo's marinara sauce. I got lots of that left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And I got some Caesar dressing. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be some sort of Italian bake with a Caesar salad. Pepperoni score. I was trying to see if we had any ricotta because that would have been a major score, but I don't think we do. So, I guess I'm going to have to buy that. Oh, well. Oh. Ooh, found some unopened mozzarella. See? That's why it pays to do some due diligence, okay? I would have bought this again. How do you guys plan out what you're going to eat for the week? Like, is it just whatever you have a taste for, whatever you have left over, or are you one of those crazy people that like goes to the store without a plan and just like lets what the store has for you determine what you're going to eat? Like, I'm getting anxiety just thinking about that. Let me know in the comments down below. Good girl, metal and sit. Good girl, Mitty. Give me Paul. <laughs> Good girl, genius. Milton. Milton. Sit. Good boy. Good boy, you decided that you're going to sit. You decided you're going to listen to mom because you were bored. Okay, guys, I'm getting ready for my grandmother's yard sale oh that's tomorrow and it's gonna be a lot a lot but we're over here on the live right now once again you can join us live every morning at 9 30 a.m eastern over on my other channel watch autumn i'll go ahead and put a link to that channel right here uh and so a lot of people are referring to it as a garage sale and i'm like look you guys my grandmother doesn't have a garage she has a front yard so it's a yard sale but i know that in different parts of the country people refer to those type of sales as all sorts of different things regardless of like if it's in a garage or out you know side of a garage but like comment down below what are they called where you're from like i've heard garage sale to refer to like a yard sale that's in a yard or a garage I've heard, uh, you know, yard sale, tag sale. I've never, I've never heard tag sale. Uh, it, my old boss from Connecticut called it a tag sale. So that was, you know, the first time I'd ever heard that. Do you guys call it anything different where you're from? Let me know in the comments down below.
Okay guys, this is currently the scene outside of my house. Look at all these cars. This is all my family that's come to help load up the truck for the yard sale. Look what we're using to load up. Oh man, yeah, that's a U-Haul. That's my back garage. Let's go look at the nonsense that's on this truck. We've already been to my mom's house to pick up stuff and this is my final destination. But we're gonna have to make two trips. There's just too much stuff. Look at that. Look, look, look at all this furniture. Look at my family. That's my Uncle Thomas. That's my Aunt Beverly. That's my granny. That's my Aunt Sonia. Richard's back there. See? Everyone. Look at that. Everybody's got a job. Clean out my garage. Look at my grandmother hanging on to that headboard. Such a trooper. This is all the stuff that was in my garage because everybody thinks that my garage is their garage. This is all the clothes that I'm selling. They piled it into the front of the U-Haul. I have a feeling as soon as that breaks, all them clothes are just gonna end up on the dash. Lord Jesus. This is my and Beverly's dog, BJ, cause he can't go anywhere without her. Oh, I know, boy. I know, BJ, he's a good boy. Oh, good boy, he's a happy boy. Look at that wagon tail, bud. Do y'all see my wife, ladies and gentlemen? Do y'all see my wife and her beautiful self? Ooh, you're so cute. Emma. So how's the work going? It's still going. Hey, we are doing the yard sale on my road. Yay. We are so excited. This is me excited. Wee, wee. Oh my gosh. See, with uh, the camera, uh, with the camera. Uh, where you going, don't leave me. Don't leave your husband! similar to last week like I am beat like we finally finished getting everything ready for tomorrow like and today was just the prep like today was just to prepare for the craziness that's gonna happen tomorrow so like today was a doozy and I know tomorrow's gonna be cray cray uh, but what's also cray cray is this lasagna bake that I made and also the only other thing I want to show you is honey buns hand me my chocolates is my chocolate the same chocolate that I did last week because I'm doing that same exact dessert that I did last week it was amazing sweetheart also in the very bottom mm -hmm. could you hand me my romaine yeah. also the only other thing I prepared for meal prep was just a bag of it just that yeah no any of those so I pre-portioned out bags of romaine so I cut up all of these uh, heads of romaine and I pre-portioned them into salads so I am having a lasagna bake and Caesar salad for meal prep here honey buns Okay, let me show you this lasagna bake. And as we see, Richard is about to make one of his favorite things ever, microwave pizza. Uh, yeah, he's become obsessed with that. Okay, so this is the lasagna bake. I mean, it is just huge and dense, and I get a quarter of that per serving. I don't know if you can tell, but that's going to be nice. If we look here, we have the layer. So we have the meat layer, the ricotta layer. I'll put mozzarella on top. Like, this is going to be amazing okay guys overall today was a great day super busy but super productive we have put ourselves in a good position to like 
just do the finishing touches of work tomorrow and we also put ourselves in a good position to make some money tomorrow and we also cleaned out our house just like that's we said we were going thing. to you're right so that's the biggest thing so today was a great day and i know tomorrow's going to be a good one as well thanks so much for watching this video if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel watch autumn keto i make meal preps on mondays what i eat wednesdays and freestyle friday videos you can also find me on instagram facebook and patreon at watch autumn keto thanks and we'll see you next week bye